but at the end of the day, uh, the guys were engaged, they competed, and uh, we, we never allowed them to run their offense. And that allowed us to, to, to create open court opportunities. It was good to see us do that, especially after the last game where we never got any of those. Frank, they had 17 turnovers. Just how liberating is it to watch a team just kind of consistently throw the ball away and not be able to get into a rhythm and you guys feasting on the points? Yeah, it's I, I uh, as we were preparing to play them, they're so dependent on the one young man uh, uh, with the ball in his hands. Uh, that's, that's where we can never rattle Baylor. I, our defense is good against Baylor, but we can never get them sped up where they just kind of put their head down and bull rush the rim. We, we, Cornell kind of did that uh, early, and our guys got out of the way. That was part of our game plan going in is, is they fight pressure by driving the ball to the rim, so we have to stand in there and protect the rim. And uh, As the game went on, we, we took some charges, and, and now they didn't come at the rim as aggressively, which allowed our pressure to be uh, even more productive out there. Right, it was 9-9. Nine, nine. You know, five minutes later, you're up by 11. You know, is there anything you can kind of stick to that you thought really changed the game? Yeah, I think Strowman uh, came in off the bench. You know, Dwayne hounded their guard pretty good to start the game. And, uh, you know, he couldn't make any entry passes. So it's a lot of stress on him. Uh, and then Dwayne comes out and you put Strowman in there. And Strowman's a ball hawk uh, defensively. It's one of the things when, when I first watched him play, when I first moved to Columbia, uh, he's one of those guys that kind of the ball's in a crowd. And all of a sudden, he runs out, out of the crowd with the ball. He's got those instincts. He's got that ability, and, and he did that for us today. And uh, I, I, I think uh, I wish we had played better offensively. Marcus Marcus didn't play very well offensively. And I don't mean his one for seven or whatever he shot. I just don't think he played as well offensively. But uh, he's a freshman, and you know he's out there fighting his tail off trying to help us win. Frank, the dunk didn't go down, but did you like seeing Marcus be that aggressive and you know going up from the free throw line with one hand? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've seen him do that in high school games. He's he's yet to do that in practice or anything, but you know that's uh, it would have been good to see him finish that because he 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 went at it uh, with the aggression. He saw the avenue. He and you know we told them they're athletic at the rim now. They're going to try and block some shots if you go in there deep uh, and. and the one thing that we tell our point guards is whenever you drive the ball, the size is at the rim, you have to shoot it. You can't try to pass it around or over that size. And, and he saw that guy was a little late and he attacked the rim. And that's, you know, it's good to see when you see, it's good to see a young kid do that. Mindy, it's it said that, you know, you challenge them to be more physical inside of it. So the guys were really happy with the way they played physically. Yeah, I, I thought we played strong today. I really did. I, you know, I, I kept, uh, Kept trying to get uh, the reason I say we didn't play very good offensively was, uh, you know, they we knew going in they're going to play everyone in the paint on the backside, so we had to have patience and our pigs had to uh, to play strong and hold their their, their position and, and not get pushed backwards under the rim. And I didn't think we did a good job of that early in the game. But as the game progressed, we started to play with more patience and our bigs started doing a better job of lifting their their post defenders which got us some opportunities on the inside. It was good to see us scoring balls at the paint, something we uh, we didn't do against Baylor the other day, and that needs to be a big part of our team. So Minda had a double-double for you. Just talk about his play tonight. Yeah, I, I've been I've been real hard on him lately, uh, you know, because he's he's been through the ropes with us, and, and he's grown with our program, and uh, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't rebounded. One of the things he does is he pursues that ball, and he hasn't been pursuing the ball with that same aggression. He did that tonight. Uh, I think at North Florida he had 11 rebounds or something like that also, but he never pursued it in practice going into the Baylor game. Obviously, he didn't pursue it in the Baylor game. Uh, the one thing you know about him now is, is when the day's over, that young man gave you everything his body can give, and, and that's uh, uh, that's why I always play him. I, 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 you know, it's, uh, you challenge him, he doesn't roll his eyes, he doesn't stick out his lower lip. Uh, he, he, uh, he embraces the challenge, and he goes out there and and he tries to do a little bit more. Frank, Charlotte tomorrow night, they did play double OT tonight. What kind of t challenge is that? Uh, I hope they're real tired. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're good. They, you know, I, I, I'm going to say, I, I, I'm not real good with stuff. I, I'm, but my brain kind of thinks of things sometimes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they won Puerto Rico last year. Yeah. Is that correct? And with Great Alaska. The Great Alaska, pretty much the same group of guys. 
and uh, they're good. They, they, they're athletic, they're big, uh, they're, they're good with the ball. Uh, it's We got our, our work cut out for them, and that's why we're here. We want to play these kind of games. These are the kind of games that we have to step up. You know, we went nose to nose with Baylor the other day, but didn't get it done. You know, and I told the guys, I've been on edge for two days. I don't like losing, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy losing. I don't enjoy guys that um, that that accept losing. Uh, we've been patient as we try to grow our program. But those days are behind us now. When, when we don't play well, uh, you know, playing hard is not playing well. That's just part of the recipe. You got to play hard. You got to play intelligent. You got to be. Uh, play through your disciplines. All that's part of playing well. Against Baylor, we played hard, but we didn't play well. Uh, and uh, that, that whenever we play that way, and we got guys that have been through it, I get on edge. I get on edge because that's that's my job. I can't accept that from our guys. And, uh, and I thought we, we, we did that better today. We, we, we played with aggression. I thought our defensive principles were pretty good. I thought offensively our principles were pretty good. We just didn't make good decisions when to pass the ball. Uh, but I, I, I thought we played okay, and we got to be better tomorrow. Got to be better. Good to see us make some perimeter shots, too. You know, guys see that ball going through the rim because we didn't make too many the other night. Frank, even in these early season tournaments like this, win the first game no matter who it's against, that's got to give you a shot of confidence that, hey, you can advance in a winner's bracket and win the guy. Yeah, I, 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 first game of any tournament is always the worst. I can't stand it. It drives me nuts. And uh, so this was behind us. You know, Cornell was playing well. Cornell went into George Mason's, beat him handily. And George Mason's a pretty good basketball team, beat him handily. Uh, uh, you know, they, 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 they've been on the road. They, you know, went to George Mason, went to Loyola, and came home to play, and then came right back over here. And their coach would have to answer that. I thought they got a little tired in the game today. I, 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 which their schedule here, early part, I can understand why. Uh, but uh, you know, it's 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 good to get the first one out of the way, and, and, and for us to have done things pretty good to, to hopefully make us feel good. And then you know, we were in the same situation last year in Hawaii, and in the semifinals, we just didn't play well and got outplayed, and just. Didn't have a chance to play for that trophy, and you know, I, I talk about that a lot with the players. Is anytime you're in a tournament setting, you're playing for a championship. You know that's important that you put yourself in a place where you can compete for that championship. And uh, you took one step today, and we got another one tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Thanks.